welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who are new, my name is Medina Grillo. I am a DIY and interiors blogger. I share creative ways to upcycle and decorate your home. So I've left my blog link down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe and comment and like. I love knowing what you think of these videos. I do try to upload videos every week, but sometimes it can be two weeks. So I do apologize, but I'm trying my best to be much more consistent. This video today, I'll be honest, it wasn't going to happen because I'm a little bit embarrassed to be honest. I call myself an interior stylist and I just don't have the faintest clue what I'm doing half the time. I made over my dining room this month. It used to have the blackboard wall that I'm sure you all remember. I just wanted something new and fresh because I've had that wall for years, like three years since I first moved in and I just wanted something a bit more different. And also the table that we had in here, as much as I loved it, we never used it much. We never really ate in here much. So I just thought, how can I revamp this room so we actually use it much more and it feels much more comfortable so before it was nice but it was a bit more cold and i'm hoping that you like the new look because it's much more intimate and obviously it's ramadan right now having like really intimate family meals is so much more important than ever before so this video <laughs> is me showing you my design choices over like a four or five day process. I wasn't going to share it like I said but then I think it's nice for people to see the behind the scenes stuff. People think that I can just do things, put together ideas just like that and it's easy but actually it's really not and I don't have a lot of direction. I'm very indecisive so I think it's great for people to see that it's okay to be indecisive and a lot of the time how I work is on feeling so even though I might have used a mood board to kind of put my ideas together beforehand if it doesn't feel right when I put it together then I'm gonna change it and as you can see from this video which I'm about to show you a lot was changed so let me talk you through it so first up was I painted over the black thousand layers of primer I thought it was a good idea to put the painters tape in strips to make arches <sighs> big mistake all right, so this is the wall. As you can see, we had to have wall plugs in to keep the planks up. That's fine, we can just pull them out and fill the holes in. The holes have been filled in on the wall. So I'm just gonna sand them down. Once they're dry, you have to leave them. I think it's about 12 hours, to be honest. And then I will paint over. So the plan is to create arches. I've done that using chalk. I've also used this just to level up the lines and a plank of wood just to get straight lines. So basically it's meant to mirror this arch and that's gonna go across the chalkboard wall. And then I'm gonna put painter's tape, then we'll see what happens. We're almost there with the arches. So I'm just doing the straight lines now with the painter's tape. Once I paint it, the stripes will be black still from the blackboard wall and then the rest will be white. So I'm hoping that this is gonna look good. I still haven't done the archway bits here, which is gonna be interesting. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. Painting over the stripes, finally. Let's see how this pans out. Got some crown paints. That's the only one I could find. Okay, the wall has been painted. The first coat, that corner there. Quite a few more coats need to be done, but we'll wait for this to dry first. Okay, this is the wall after three coats. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm gonna add two more. The reason why there's so many coats is because the wall was black and also we're using a tray paint, which is fine, but it's just really thin. It's a tray um, emulsion paint, so that's why it's taking so long. Okay, so I've just realized that I have run out of this chalkboard paint, which means that I have to finish it off with a different sort of paint, which is gonna look really weird. But these are the lines that I've hand drawn. So what I did was I used a piece of string and kind of just went like that with the string to make create curves on this wall and then hand painted the top. I'm forced to use Valspa paint now, which is the paint that I use for my entrance these doors over here actually. Not happy about it, but it's gonna have to do for now because I'm actually on a deadline for this and this is meant to be a sponsored post. 
so we shall see we shall see what happens i really like them i think i just need to do more coats of the rainbow and obviously it's not completely straight i don't mind that at all because i like that it's not completely symmetrical so i'm gonna do the other side and see how i feel but so far i am really liking it this is the arches after one more coat of that paint the lines aren't as clear cut because i went over the actual chalkboard that wasn't my intention my original plan but hey ho as you can see here it doesn't really match up but can i just say that it doesn't have to be perfect so i think what i'm gonna do now is just touch up some of the areas and like these bits here with a bit of white just to hide them a bit better but yeah, I'm actually, I think it looks all right. It's not too bad. So when I peeled away the paint to take from the wall, I had a bit of a, I don't know how to explain it, but a bit of a, a lift where the white paint was a bit higher than the black paint. Would have been fine if I had kept those arches, but I didn't keep those arches. I've just realized that for the look that I was going for, it just wasn't gonna work. And although it looked really good in my head, it wasn't gonna work. I even shared on Instagram. That's how invested I was. The next day I woke up and I thought, no, I don't really like this. So I then had to paint and sand all of those stripes and then paint over it again with the color that I chose for my living room. Change of plans. I have painted over brown because it just wasn't working. The headboard did not work. Sometimes you just have to embrace the failures. I'm sad that it didn't work. The idea didn't come together, but I'm just going with a plan. I can't even say it's a plan B because it wasn't my initial plan. It just came to me. I really thought it was gonna look really great, but sometimes you just have to accept that your ideas don't always work. So I love the wall. I love the bench. The bench is lovely. The black stripes, however, the arches, I think I just kept them there because I'd already shown it on Instagram, but actually I didn't really like them. So I'm painting over them again. And then I'm gonna be making some shelves to go up there with this wood that I found in my garage and also these brackets. So I think that's just gonna frame the space much nicer. This is all happening during lockdown. There's no way you can actually get supplies. So I had to use lots of things from my garage. So I was very resourceful. That's one good thing. I upcycled my benches, which I'll be showing another video about. So I half painted the bottom brown. I left the tops with some midway arches thinking that would look really cool, but it didn't. So then I had to paint over that all again with white. Gosh, it was just such a nightmare. Once I've done all of that and I put the headboard in and I got my half brown painted wall, I thought, oh, this actually looks quite nice now. I actually like it. Cause I think it's so important to have a space that not only looks good on camera, but actually looks good when you walk in and it felt right. I went with it. So I got some new lights that are kind of not really my style, but really work. And then I made some DIY shelves using some old wood in my garage. Check out this headboard. Look at that. So it's velvet um beautiful stitching it's from next <sighs> i do love it okay guys look at this it's finally finally coming together this is a space so far i will bring this color around when i have more paint and we're not in isolation i'm also going to be adding a really cool wallpaper to the top but i'm gonna leave it like this for now i'm still waiting for that wallpaper and then i'm gonna put it in but what do you think I really, really like it actually. I didn't think I would. And this is the final look. What I'm trying to achieve by this video is it's okay to screw up and not have the answers when you're decorating. It's okay to be indecisive. It's okay to make mistakes. If I'm gonna be honest, because this post was sponsored, well not sponsored, but I had some sponsored items in the actual design and I was creating content for a brand, I felt a little bit more stressed than usual. So that's probably why I made more mistakes than I probably would have if I were doing it without it being sponsored. I know for a fact that I probably would have sat on the design for a few days and just thought, okay, let me see how I can make this work. Thanks for watching that makeover. Let me know what you think of it. Like, 
I think it's a great space because it's such a small little dining nuke and I think you can apply it to any room in your home. I think that headboard feature is definitely just brought the room together and I love the round table. Again, our dinner times are so much more intimate with that round table. So yeah, let me know what you think of this makeover in the comments. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up.